Jews are all wealthy. They control every bank and are very skilled with money. Oh, and they also have the power over the government and the media. So much for the stereotypes against Jews that have persisted for centuries. Where did that rhetoric come from? Jews have a long history of being incredibly charitable, civic-minded, and philanthropic as a people. However, the misconceptions persist may be in part due to an underlying fact. Jews generally have better financial situations than most. What is the deal between Jews and money? We are aware that Jews, like all people, have an affluent middle class and a lower socioeconomic class. We will thus explore this cognitive process in depth today. This is Luxurious and Chic, and make sure to watch until the end to find out why Jewish people and money have been portrayed the way they have been. Hit like and subscribe for more videos like this. Number 1. Judaism and Wealth Judaism does not view poverty as a sign of goodness. Instead, they think everyone should be able to avoid poverty and work to support themselves. This is a basic principle that has fostered a strong work ethic and a sense of individual accountability for each person's ability to support themselves. Jews are charitable people as well. 10 to 20 percent of salaries, in their opinion, need to be donated to religious and humanitarian organizations. Having this kind of thinking from an early age lays a strong basis for seeing success as the only possibility. Number 2. Jews from Europe couldn't own land Jews have had a difficult history, which includes being prohibited from owning a land in Europe as early as the Middle Ages. Nevertheless, where there is a will, there is a way. Jewish people discovered other ways to accumulate wealth besides owning real estate, one of which was becoming merchants and traders, professions in which they still have a significant presence in most nations today. This provided a safety net for Jewish communities because it ensured their safety wherever their services were required. Number 3. An opportunity for religion was grabbed. Interest-based fees were considered sinful by Christians in the Middle Ages. Because they were unable to work in the financial sector, opportunities in that sector were available to the Jewish population. Jewish individuals rose to prominence in the world of lending money. The Jewish people's initial success in this lucrative industry served as a precursor to many of the negative preconceptions about Jews that are still prevalent today. Number 4. The First Banks Were Opened From lending money to the founding of the first banks in Europe, it only took a short time. They could manage transfers, transactions, and everyday financial services for the Jewish community. They could also keep making loans and adding interest. This was a much-needed service on a blooming continent, and their excellent experience in finance contributed to future growth. Number 5. Religion with the highest level of education According to a report published in 2016 by the Pew Research Center, Jews are the religious group with the highest level of education worldwide. The Jewish community attends school for 13.4 years on average. Christians are the second most educated group. After graduating from college, Jews' financial situation quickly improves since better credentials translate into greater starting salaries. Number 6. They take care of each other. It might be a result of a lengthy history of marginalization or it might just be inborn. However, Jews take great pride in giving away their fortunes for the good of their society. This spirit of mutual assistance makes sure that everyone in the neighborhood is given the support they need to succeed. The neighborhood will unite behind someone starting a new business to support it or make an effort to assist someone else if they encounter difficulty. Number 7. Their faith teaches ethical business conduct. Jewish leaders, 
philosophers and writers have made it quite obvious how Jewish enterprises must function. These principles make it clear that unethical behavior is not permitted at all. The consumer's freedom is viewed as being oppressed when they are fleeced. Many individuals find Jewish business people to be particularly alluring business partners because they know they are engaging in business with someone who is motivated by a higher power to uphold ethical ethics. Number 8. Resilience and Persistence Come Naturally Jewish people have consistently displayed resilience in the face of great difficulties. Giving up is not an option when paired with this tenacity and persistence. There is no self-pity when things go wrong in business, which they occasionally do, but an attitude of shit takes place instead. Perseverance is the continuing pursuit of an objective or course of action in the face of challenges, setbacks, or discouragement. Number 9. Good financial education has been passed down through generations. It was perceived by many experts as supporting the myth that Jews have some sort of global control over real estate and banks. The Jewish community has an unparalleled level of market confidence and generational experience in the fields of banking and real estate. Number 10. Parents impart financial literacy to their kids. Many Jewish parents instill in their kids a respect for money. Giving, offering, saving, investing, and spending are all indicated on the labels of each jar. Children are given 10 shekels, and one shekel is placed in the tith jar, one in the giving and offering jar, one in the savings jar, two in the investment jar, and five in the spending jar. Number 11. Wealth is wisely handled. They address money management and diversification. Diversification is the process of allocating capital that isn't overly exposed to one type of risk or asset but is instead distributed to spread out the risk. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket, to put it more bluntly. Number 12. Having a network is crucial. We can only expand our business and riches by actively interacting with people since we are all aware of how networking opens doors and business prospects. People transact business with people they know, trust, and are sincere with. Jewish communal life offers many opportunities for networking. Jewish holidays, synagogue services, and the Sabbath all contribute to the development of enduring interpersonal and professional bonds. Number 13. Plan for the future, consider the past. The Jewish community is aware that the current situation is not unique. Making wiser business and financial choices for the future is made simpler by taking a look at situations that have a similar history to your own. Patterns are repeated. Learning these patterns or trends, comprehending market cycles, and establishing a presence in the global currency are ways to get wealthy. Number 14. Richest Advice Jewish reformers reared Mark Zuckerberg as a child. When he launched Facebook in 2004, he was only 19 years old. Since becoming a father, Zuckerberg claims to have become more religious and he frequently offers sound counsel to budding entrepreneurs. He claims that although some people strive hard for achievement every day, others only dream of it. Number 15. The plain truth has halos. It is true that a large percentage of Jews are wealthy, but it is also true that a large percentage are impoverished. It's the same for everyone else, whether they are Jewish or not. We may all gain valuable life lessons from the Torah, which teaches lovely guidelines for achievement. A desire to learn in self-education will put you on the proper path to financial security. There are only growth possibilities. There are no difficulties. Jews and money have been portrayed in certain ways for a very long time. 
Some people think that there are hidden Jewish organizations that manage the world and all the money. We must stop supporting these preconceptions. We must be honest with one another about our differences, privileges, and past. We must educate ourselves on the Jewish people's journey and recognize it. What have you learned in our video today? Tell us in the comments. Check out our channel for more motivational business videos if you like this one. And if you want to know about the most expensive things in the world, look inside the lives of the wealthiest people on the planet or how to achieve success in your life, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to hit the like button.